Hey guys, welcome back. Thanks for watching another video. Um, this material is rather old, like a year old. Um, so the truck is running now and running decent. I uh, still got a couple issues I need to figure out and I'm still having issues with the um, shop I dropped the pump off to so yeah don't use Southwest diesel in performance or whatever it is in Phoenix because they are not great <laughs> they've had that pump as of right now um, over a year now it's what a year and a half or so something like that um, part of it is because I've been busy and I keep forgetting to call them but the original excuse they gave me is they had issues trying to get the uh, governor to work right which I found kind of strange because the governor worked perfectly fine before I took it off. But that's neither here nor there right now. Um, anyways, uh, yeah, enjoy the video. <laughs> Come on now. How am I supposed to get anything started? Huh? I can't start a video with you right here. You're supposed to be talking to them. Yeah. You're supposed to be talking to them. <laughs> of course, you come over right as I start the camera. <laughs> Chief. <laughs> I can't do a video. All right, here. Give me the ball. I can't throw the ball if you don't give. If you don't let me take it. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Come here. Let me throw the ball so I can at least get the video done, okay? No? All right. Stay there, then. <laughs> Welcome back for the last installment, fellas. Uh, there's not hardly much at all to finish on this thing. So we'll get this all done, hopefully, in one video. We still have the fuel pump to put in. Um, that's a long story I'll get into in a minute. Quite aggravated with that. That freeze plug I need to remove and put in the elbow for the air compressor inlet. And what else? Fuel pump, that elbow. Oh, I gotta build a new after cooler shell, and then pretty much just reassemble the, what's left, which isn't hardly much. So let's get that done. Uh, the first thing we're gonna get started on, because of space, available space, we're gonna get that um, freeze plug started on. So. Let me see if I can find a new spot for you guys to get parked on. Okay. We've gone from plan A propane to plan B bolt and nut. Uh, I got a what I think is a 7 16 Pretty damn sure it's a 7 16 uh, The nut, I threaded onto this, um, took a grinder to it, made it smooth all the way around. Uh, by the main, what I mean smooth is I ground all the corners off of it so it's completely round. And I just 
got it in there. Um, so now we're going to throw these washes on it. We'll see if that's enough. We may have to grab some more washers. Alright. Come on. Ha ha! Thank you very much. Ah, uh, yes. Yep, that's all it's gonna take. Just going to take a little bit of sanding with that 6 or with the sanding drum. Get rid of the, the current um, Loctite and, and or 609 in there. Guess I should have done that earlier instead of throwing my thumb over it. That's cleaned up. Don't want to take too much off of that because I don't want to freaking ball her out the hole. Oh. <laughs> Man. That's nasty. I don't even know how to describe the taste. Ugh. <coughs> oh. Don't do that, boys. That's disgusting. <laughs> Holy crap. That is nice and clean. Yep. Steel's all, or the iron's all nicely scuffed up for the Loctite to adhere to. Grab that hose before I can put this elbow in. Now, hold on. I'm gonna go ahead and set this further into the container. Oh, the inverter? Yeah. Mr. Socks. Hey, I was trying to keep it clean in here. Hell, I'm not even gonna bother with that until I get the new flooring in. Oh yeah, baby. That looks sexy. You'll never see it that clean again. <laughs> yep, quite true. All right. I'm gonna is, pick her up and roll her over. Is that you want to take a picture of the other side? I'm not taking a picture. Are you taking video? The video's already on. Right. Um. Sweet. That's awesome. That means I can get to that and adjust that a lot easier. I can adjust my idle a lot easier. What well, was the other pump internal? No, it's the same spots, but they were tamper proof crap. Oh, okay. So. Is this all you need is a pump out of that box? There's nothing else in there, is there? No, not, well, no, not really. Except, looks like. Yep. Come on. Good. You got a. You got a. A. Um, Actually, let's throw that back on there for a quick you got second. A key for that? No. Oh, okay. No, you don't put a wood roof on them. Oh, no, it's for the adjust for uh, timing adjustment.
I've yet to find a good freaking tone for that. Just do a, like a, a, a semi horn. <laughs> mother <laughs> <laughs> Alright, where'd it go? No! Oh. Mother of... <sighs> That's not gonna work. I hate this damn thing. <laughs> Why did you do this before? I don't remember. Now I think it is stuck between the damn... Nope, oh, nope, nope, nope. It is stuck between the air compressor and the block, but I think I can get it. Ha-ha! <laughs> okay, I'm not tempting fate three times. <laughs> Yeah, switch it up. <laughs> I gotta figure out what different way to do this. <laughs> that don't make sense. Damn engineers. Yeah, I know the problem. If it was a cat. <laughs> You're going with the cat. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> I smell curly. Yeah, I was gonna say curly must be around here somewhere. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> So you can... The flanged ones go on the back. That's right. That makes sense. So we need to find the other flanged one. So Son do you think... A... Can you get that first flanged one on the back? Maybe. I'm going to try. I'll look. If one of them's down here, the other one's got to be. Oh, crap. I knew there were different sizes. Uh-oh. No say uh-oh. No, no. I just say uh-oh because they're different sizes. Pump is installed. Um, the only things I could really have to do are hook up the fuel lines, um, you know, the main fuel, return fuel, uh, the AFC line, and then all the fuel lines to the injector. Want your ball? Is that what you want? You want your ball? Oops. Um, so I wouldn't, you know, just because of the injector, I would not be able to finish, or the, not the injector, the uh, throttle linkages, I wouldn't be able to drive it anyways. Um, best I could do would be test firing it. Now that you've seen the fun of installing that pump and getting that elbow installed for the air compressor, God, that was such a nightmare. <sighs> Definitely do not want to do that again. Actually, it's more the the elbow itself wasn't really all that difficult, just time consuming. Um, the real pain in the rear was dealing with that pump, getting it on and off, because I've forgotten how much of a pain in the arse it was to get them flanged nuts on the back side of that, or on the pump, um, between the pump and the head, there's two studs, and getting them nuts on that thing where there's like that much room over, you know, like 18 inches, because you pretty much have to go from the back side of the pump between the head and the pump up to the front where the flange is to uh, install the nuts. So it's a real pain to uh, get them nuts on there. So uh, 
Anyways, like I said, truck's running. It's not running great. It's a little low on power, especially, um, especially, especially noticeable when you've got a slight incline. Um, so I'm thinking I've got to deal with the timing a little bit more. And I've been trying to get a hold of, um, uh, who were they? Uh, Power Driven Diesel up in uh, Utah. They're only like five hours from me. So I've been trying to talk to them about going up there and them, having them give me a hand uh, doing the spill port timing for that pump so I get the timing where I need it to be. Because right now, like I said, that thing is low on power. It's Still got a little bit, of, little bit of white smoke, which is usually indicative of um, not completely burnt fuel. So I'm trying to get it, uh, trying to get the timing advanced a little bit more, uh, or set properly for more performance. So, and trying to keep an eye out for a QSV or quick spool valve for the uh, H1E turbo that I've got um, in hopes that I don't have to change the turbo out. So if anybody you guys, if any of y'all know where I can pick up a QSV for the H1E turbo, let me know. But anyways, thanks for watching the video. Um, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up, share it with y'all's friends, and uh, if you ain't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe, and hopefully I'll do better about more recording more video for the house build, at least. Right now, I still have a freaking disaster of a mess around here, so that's part of the reason why I haven't done a whole lot of recording, and the house inside is even worse, or at least it feels like it anyways. Um, so, thanks for, uh, stopping by. Out of my socks, buddy. Here, you want me to throw your ball? Maybe I can get it further this time. <laughs> you ain't pulling for it no more, are you?